Okay, I want to do this video to show the VK ROM version 5.1 and the Cyan kernel. And I want to show a quadrant on this guy on the Samsung Galaxy S2. Uh, what I want to show is is a quadrant in power saving. Sec here at the top you can see power saving and in the kernel tweaks I have it on battery saving my battery is at 100 to 99 percent right now because it might go down and I want to show what kind of quadrant scores you get with the VK ROM I'm just going to show you quickly about the phone Yeah, it's the latest kernel 331 because the, the next build he has for only Samsung Galaxy S3. And you can see VK ROM ICS version 5.1. So we're going to go out of this and we're going to try a quadrant. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to close all the tasks first in Task Manager. So there's nothing running as you can see now. All I'm going to do is a quick optimize with NetQuinn. That's all that I'm going to do. And then I'm going to go to Quadrant. I'm still trying to optimize. That's why it won't open. I just want to make sure it's running two cores. Nothing's overclocked. I don't know why it says 1600. Because I, I tried to overclock it one time when I had a ROM. And I never overclocked it since, so I think the value stayed or something. I don't know what happened. But right now, nothing's overclocked. And we're going to run full benchmark with the battery saver and custom power saving mode on the phone. Let's go with yes. Sending your result. Alright, let's zoom in. Your device, 3414. Let's take this. I want to show you what I got CPU wise, memory wise, 2D wise. And I'm going to go out. I'm going to check one more setting here in developer's option. I don't know if it's checked. That's why it's so low. So I'm going to go force GPU render. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to go back out. It's all in developer's option when you get a custom ROM. We're going to go back to quadrant. System information. Two cores, same same deal. We're gonna run full benchmark. And then we're gonna see if the score changes just by changing. Just by changing the 2D option 
to render full 2D options and full applications in the developer's option. Oh yes. Sending your results. Your device 3217. But usually when you uh, when you turn the 2D rendering on, you're supposed to get a higher 2D score. What I found. But this is what it gets. Thanks for watching.